Big Brother is watching. But is Big Brother getting a little overprotective? Welcome to Catching Up with J.M. Corrett. I'm J.M. Corrett. Today, I'm going to talk about how President Obama is trying to pass laws that allow law enforcement officers to basically eavesdrop on American citizens' internet use and go against our rights as American citizens. Here's what I mean. This is text from the Constitution and definitions of certain words from Webster's Dictionary Online. First, here's the preamble of the Constitution. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Now this is the part that makes it unconstitutional for President Obama to do what he's trying to do. Promote the general welfare and secure the general blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Welfare, in the original sense of the word, when the document was written, means health, happiness, or prosperity. Also, well-being. First off, that should be health, happiness, and prosperity, and well-being. Because today's politicians could be trying to do one or the other. Back to our subject. Monitoring your internet, it isn't going to promote mine or probably anyone else's welfare. Continuing onward, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Let me give you a definition of liberty. There are six. I'm going to tell you three of them. Guess which one relates the most to this situation? The power of choice. Freedom from physical restraint. Or, freedom from arbitrary or despotic control. If you guessed definition three, congratulations! You're right! The definition of liberty for this situation is freedom from arbitrary or despotic control. Arbitrary means not restrained or limited in the exercise of power, ruling by absolute authority. An example, an arbitrary government. Despotic means of, relating to, or characteristic of a despot. It is also a synonym for arbitrary, which means it's the same thing. Posterity means future generations, our descendants. So, what Obama's trying to do isn't really going to secure the blessings of liberty for our posterity. The reason Obama wants internet surveillance is for counterterrorism purposes. But at the same time, this will also jeopardize our safety on the internet. If the internet gets easier to monitor, that means it makes it easier for hackers to monitor us, also get information from us. They can hack our computers, get our personal information, so, the safety feature isn't as safe as you think. I think this is a little too safe. I mean, how are we supposed to learn from, from experience if we have Big Brother breathing down our necks? China already does this to keep better control of their citizens. Obama's supposed to be a Democrat. He shouldn't be following the same methods as China. Totalitarian countries do this. Are we a totalitarian country? No! Totalitarianism is despotic control. Our liberty is freedom from despotic control. And it is Obama's job to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. It's unconstitutional to do this. The Supreme Court needs to say no because it's their job to know what is or isn't constitutional. I've just explained why President Obama shouldn't... Excuse me. Why President Obama can't allow internet surveillance on the American citizens. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? There's a link to the CNN article where I got most of this information right in the, bu right in the description. And now it's time for this week's FAIL of the Week. Fox News reported that the city of Los Angeles had recently purchased 10,000 jetpacks for law enforcement, paramedics, and firefighters. First off, each jetpack costs $10,000 for you mathematicians out there watching, you should know that the total expenditure is one billion dollars. Ten thousand times one hundred thousand equals a billion. So, what really makes this a fail of the week is where the story originated from. The Weekly World News. 
for those of you who've never been to a Walmart check stand or any other superstore, the Weekly World News is famous for fake fictional headlines like Bat Child Found in Cave or Titanic Captain Found in Lifeboat. Now this story was uh, reported on Fox and Friends, which I actually never watch. Back then I don't even watch Fox News. This actually proves my point of why I don't watch Fox News. I'm wondering if the, I'm wondering if the reporters, actually not the reporters, the anchors, the the people you see on TV. I mean, do they even find out where their sources came from? The story originated from the Weekly World News, for Pete's sake. They're famous for fake headlines. Another headline that the Weekly World News reported was also that was also reported by the Real World News networks was the following. Planet dissolving dust cloud is headed toward planet Earth. To clear this up, the Martin jetpack is real. It can go about 60 miles an hour, but there are only two in existence, and there won't be any more until they find someone to invest 15 million. So most of this is true. The only thing is, Los Angeles didn't make an order of a billion dollars for 10,000 jetpacks. So this is why I don't watch Fox News. Fox News. You are the fail of the week! Congratulations, Fox News. You won the Courts and Session Productions and Catching Up with Jim Courtright Award for Fail of the Week, Week 40, 2010. Congratulations. Those are my thoughts on Internet Surveillance and Fox News' gullibility. I'll see you next time. Order in the court.